Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a diagonal stripe pattern in Photoshop. First off, I'm going to create a document for my pattern. So I'll go ahead and click on Create New. The dimensions I'm going to use is going to be 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And then um, resolution, I'm just gonna leave at 300. Color mode will be RGB color. And then background contents, I'm gonna select switch to transparent and then just click create and then zooming in on my canvas doing a command with the plus key and then first we are going to select our um, the line tool so i'm going to make sure my uh, colors are set to default down here and then here under the shape tools you'll select the line tool and then starting in the lower corner i'm going to hit the shift key and then I'm gonna drag it across. And the shift key just makes it so uh, the angle is at a 45 degree angle. And then from here, I'm going to change my stroke width to, uh, we're gonna do 50 pixels. Okay. So now we have uh, the start of our diagonal line. The next thing we need to do is um, we're gonna duplicate this layer and then we're gonna add it to the corners here. So pulling up my layers panel here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this line. I'm gonna right click and select duplicate layer. Okay, and then from here, we are going to use a filter. So we're gonna go filter, other, offset. And then uh, Photoshop will prompt you to either convert it to smart object or to rasterize the layer. And then from here, since my document is 200 uh, pixels by 200 pixels, I'm going to offset it by half of that. So we're gonna go 100 horizontally and then 100 pixels vertically. And then you'll have repeat edge pixels here. And then go ahead and select OK. And then uh, from here, we are going to do the same thing, but we're gonna add it to this upper corner. So we'll go ahead and duplicate this layer and then from here, you can uh, just double click on the smart filter and then we will change the value. So before we did a positive 100 by positive 100 for horizontal and vertical, this time we're gonna switch it to negative. So negative 100 horizontally and then we'll do a negative 100 uh, vertically as well. So now we have our pattern in the corners here and then we have it going across diagonally. Go ahead and click on OK for that. And then the next step is to uh, define our pattern. So we're gonna go to Edit, Define Pattern, and then you can give it a name, and then click on OK. And then uh, the next step is to create a um, document, another document, so we'll go File, New. And then this time we're gonna use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels. And then our resolution will be 300 pixels per inch. We're gonna have our color mode RGB color, and then we'll set our background contents to white this time. We'll go ahead and click on Create. From here, we will add a, a pattern adjustment layer. So here in the Layers panel, select Pattern. And then using the drop down arrow, we'll select our newly created pattern. And then uh, when this is open, you have the option to uh, change the angle. Um, you can scale it up or down. Um, and then you even, you can move it around here to reposition it. If you wanna get it back to the original, you can click snap to origin there. Um, as well. So we'll go ahead and click OK there. So right now we have our repeated diagonal stripe pattern. The next step is to uh, recolor it. So we're going to go to uh, the layers panel here. We're going to go to our adjustment layers. This time we're going to select solid color. And then choosing a color, I'm going to use uh, one for my swatches here, this purple. Click OK, and then the next we're going to create a clipping mask. You can do this by right-clicking and selecting Create Clipping Mask, or you can use a um, the keyboard shortcut. Um, in this case, you will hover between the two layers. Uh, you'll select Option and then click 
for Mac users. And so this color fill layer makes it really easy to um, change the color. And then we can add another one behind it. So we'll do another solid color adjustment layer. And then we can select another color here and you can get that fine uh, two-tone effect um, there. So doing it this way makes it really easy to adjust um, the colors if you are creating maybe a digital paper pack that you want to sell um, you can easily create a template document like this and uh, just change out the colors and um, make the different um, different patterns different designs using different colors using these color fill layers uh, to your pattern so the next step would be to save it as a digital paper so let's go file save as okay go ahead and give your document a name and then you'll select the folder and then you'll want to make sure that the file format is jpeg and then you'll keep the uh, color profile here selected and then go ahead and click on save. And then for digital scrapbook paper, you'll want to have it the highest quality so you can drag um, the quality over to the max here. And then you can go ahead and click on OK. And then you have your digital scrapbook paper saved. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a diagonal repeating stripe in Photoshop. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I will leave a link to my shop where I sell Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy store where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.